you probably have tried purple shampoos in the past so what's different about this one i almost feel like it's a really bad idea to test it out today because my hair is feeling a little bit drier than usual so i don't know it's also going to be a very good challenge so let's look at the bright side i can't believe we're doing this today i've been waiting for this product for the longest time it's here for those of you who haven't heard about it yet this is the new oaplex number no. four p blonde enhancer toning shampoo so you get all the good stuff of oplex number no. four same packaging same amount but also tones your blonde hair but there's more as always with oplex the claims are huge unbreakable blondes three times brighter but what's more interesting neutralizes brassiness most importantly hydrates this is where we were at today i had my hair highlighted about a month ago i've basically been super sick this week and i haven't exactly taken care of my high maintenance hair i've done like the bare bare minimum to have it like half decent you know what i mean so we can consider this before take a very good look i'm gonna follow the step by step i just want to do things by the book because it's the very first time testing it out however i would have thought things would be done differently so maybe i can share how i think i will be trying it out in the future at the end of the video I don't want to confuse you guys more on that later so according to them number four the regular one is not completely replaced by number four p you can use this before if you feel that your hair needs a little bit of a deeper cleanse then we apply oplex number four p to neutralize our blonde hair then we go in with number three we'll leave it on for like 20 minutes Finally, you condition with Oplex number five. So we're gonna do that and trust the experts and we'll see how it goes. Okay, this has certainly gone well in ways I was not expecting. Let me explain. The one thing I thought I would be rating about this product was how drying it is in comparison, of course, to other purple shampoos I've tried before. But actually what I'm most impressed by, it is a very powerful toning shampoo. In fact, the last couple of times I've used purple shampoo on my hair before this one, I started doing this trick where I applied on dry hair for a more intense action. And I'm pretty sure that would boost the action of any purple shampoo. However, as you guys saw, I did not do it with this one. And I'm so pleased at how it has neutralized all those 
yellowy, brassy tones that my highlights had in the before. That said, yes, it's true that it's not as drying as other purple shampoos I've tried either. I wouldn't go as far as saying it is hydrating, but it definitely is not as drying. And I know that for two reasons. The first one is that my hands don't feel dry. And when I use other purple shampoos, I usually need a lot of love and care after in the palms of my hands because they just feel super, super dehydrated. So that's a good sign. The other thing that tells me that it's not as dehydrating as others is that Actually, Olaplex number no. five, the conditioner, does very little for my hair's hydration. It's not my favorite Olaplex product. It's nothing personal. Actually, I'm not very fond of conditioners. My hair just always needs something extra. So I know that Olaplex number no. five helped really little in that department. So that tells me once again that um, number 4P is actually not um, as dehydrating as other shampoos I've tried in the past. That said, moving forward, I would probably change this routine a little bit and here are a couple of tips. First of all, I would probably skip number five and replace it with number eight, which is their Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I feel this is more suitable for my very dry, frizzy hair type. And I would also experiment a little bit, try mixing Olaplex number one with the purple shampoo. It is like a purple dye we have here. After all, we are kind of coloring the hair very lightly. Any professional hairdressers out there, let me know if I'm saying something really crazy or if I could potentially um, try mixing those and then follow with Olaplex number two. The other thing that I would definitely like to try and see if it's kind of a hack is to mix it with just a couple of drops of Olaplex number three as well. So. I don't know, I think there's a few things we can try. And as you know, I'm always up for creating videos on any of those things if you guys are interested. Also, let me know in the comments below what other products you'd like Olaplex to launch next. If you ask me, I would really like to see a purple version of Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. Yes, a finishing oil with, you know, a few toning drops inside. Um, yeah, that is it for today. I'm totally giving this a thumbs up for all of the above and I will catch up with you all again on my next one.